on Sunday, September 1st, 2019, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai took precious time to elaborate on the difficult and even unsafe physical method of practice mentioned last Sunday to our association members at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Master had lovingly and considerately prepared notes to further explain. Last time we talked about this uh, special meditation method, which is very difficult to practice, very dangerous also. Why is that the method dangerous? Because you can be stuck in that kind of essential feeling and then be attached to that. Instead of going up, you're stuck there or going down because of attachment to sensual, physical pleasure, and very difficult to let go. If the physical intercourse between man and woman, you call sex, I, I'm shy to mention that word. When I first mentioned it, I was really very shy, but somebody asked me about it. I had to put on a brave face and tell him about what, why, a long time ago, some years ago. But even then, nowadays, if I mention that, I still feel very shy. I don't know why. Forgive me if I'm not so brave as you think. I'm not all that brave. I'm not all that very uh, uh, free to talk about anything. It's because I'm your teacher, I have to. But I always try not to mention that <laughs> if I can. So, if sex is also one of the 84,000 methods to practice, why the Buddha don't ever mention it? He even tell people, try not to follow the lustful temptation, because he knew it's very dangerous. Even if you want to be a teacher of this so-called tantric yoga, you are not safe from danger of addiction to sensual pleasure. I also written here, it's dangerous way because you could be entangled in its powerful pleasure and can't reach your goal or even forget it altogether. In this physical world, sex is the most common yet the most powerful force to reach enlightenment, very powerful. If you marry or uh, in love, we have boyfriend, girlfriend, you understand what I'm saying. Better not try this. But if you can avoid it, then uh, try the way I have told you last time. The saints, the enlightened saints, they uh, have physical contact with their wives only several times a year, just to have children only. And after that, if they have enough children the way they think they should, as an obligation to family, or just to have some children for the parents or love for the wife or the husband, they will stop it after having enough children, even though they are still married. For Master's full explanation on this matter, be sure to tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later time. Our caring Master also shared an important reminder while reading through her notes. I wrote here, Kuan Yin method, including the light and the sound, is the best for you, best for anyone, because it is our self-nature. Kuan Yin and Kuan Kuang mean listening to your self-nature inside, in two forms, the inside heavenly light, which is your Buddha nature or God nature, and another condensed more concentrated form of light is the sound, which is also your original nature, Buddha nature or God nature. So this method of Guan Yin, meaning listening to your cell nature, and Guan Guang, seeing your cell nature, is the best for you, because it's our self nature, and our self nature is Buddha, Buddha nature or God nature. When we see our nature, or uh, listen to our inner nature, that means we see our own Buddha nature, our own God quality. Thus, we are one with the Buddhas in all directions. So, 
because we are one with the Buddhas, one with God. So we will be blessed, even though we haven't completely realized our true, complete nature, but we still are already together with the Buddhas, because the Buddha has this nature. God is this nature also. So if we are with that, then we are safe. We are not with anything else. We are with ourselves. The more we know ourselves, true self, the more we be at peace with all beings and loving to all beings. Of course, because they also have the same nature. nature. They have the same nature as ours because all beings have this same nature. Buddha nature or God quality. Towards the end of the lecture, Master gently expressed the following. I really thank you for all your love. I feel it and I love it and I thank you. Thank you so much for your love. I know, I know your love. And this love makes people feel comfortable. Not this kind of attached love or binding love or small love. This is a universal love, unconditional love, and it's very comfortable to feel that. At home, try also to be unconditional. Try to love each other unconditionally. That's the only love we should have, and that's the only love we should give. I know you're nothing, but to do is difficult. <laughs> try. <laughs> Every time you fail, try again until you succeed. We always have to try. Try to live like a Buddha, even though you are not yet realized your own Buddha nature. Try to live like one. Try, at least try, to think what the Buddha would do in this situation, what Jesus Christ would do in this situation, what other master would do in my situation. Try. And then slowly, you can get it. And if you don't get it, at least you know you try. And you do not feel bad about yourself. I am trying. I'm just human. I'm trying my best. And pray the masters help me. All the masters help me. At least like that. At least you are reminded of something noble, unconditional, as the way you would want to live your life. That's what you want. But you're born in this world, is very imperfect, and it makes trouble for you. But you want it that, because it's yourself, you want it to be noble, to be perfect. Try at least, try. It will make you feel comfortable, feel happier and more contented. Most gracious Master, please accept our ever-expanding love, prayers, and gratitude for your steadfast devotion to uplift all beings on our planet and beyond. Long live our beloved Master in superb health, peace, always surrounded by the pure of heart. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.